How are we doing folks? Welcome back to the probably the first project video just having a well-earned brew because we've been grafting grafting all morning chopping wood up because the house well it runs on wood basically there's no oil we've no gas so if you want the central heating on you're lighting the wood burner so first real project that we're getting stuck into is this front garden When I'm sat in the front room there, I have this fantastic view. Let's spin you around. There we go. So that's the there we go. That's the that's the house. And we've got this great view of the the front garden which is slightly sloping. Now when I first came down we set up you see the feeding station there, you can see we've got long tails on and I'm literally I don't know, I bet I'm five metres away. And <laughs> they're just feeding apple. We've got great tits on there, blue tits, long tails. And what I want to do, let's spin you around again. Yeah, what I want to do, I want to set a hide up. I want to set a hide up on this, this front bit. And that's for the small bird photography, because we're getting we're getting loads of stuff down. Um, like I said, we've had both inches down, chaff inches. Great spotted woodpecker, wrens, tree creepers, all sorts of stuff. And it's really, it's it's proper early days. Nut hatches as well. They don't half empty the feeders. Flipping, eh? We're going to go through some feed at this place. But what I want to do, I want to set this, this front garden up as, like, a, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set the feeding station up there. So where I'm pointing now, I put a second set of feeders and... They absolutely love it up here. It's great. And there's a lot of cover, you see, for the birds. So what I'm thinking of doing, I'll have a walk up in a minute. But I want to set a hide up up here. So we've got, we've almost got two hedges, if you will. Let's have a wander up. I'm going to, uh, the plan is, we're going to take some of these ornamental shrubs out. Because that, that's like a big hebe. We've already, already chopped some of them back. And... We've got a lot of trees on order, so we've ordered some wild cherry, we've ordered rowan uh, and crab apple. So I think we've got, I think we've ordered 50 altogether, because there's a fair, a fair chunk of land, you know, I want to spread them out. So we've got this, this is the path from the orchard. We're going to use this path coming down here, and all being well, we're going to set a hide up, up here. Now it looks a little bit congested at the moment but if needs be we'll take we'll take this fence down and we've got a really nice nice spot here so we've got the the hedge we've got a big holly bush here where the feeders are you can see the and i'm literally i bet i'm three meters from the feeders and the you know they're still knocking about so a great spot for them i've also i threw a, a pheasant down on the field the other day just there that's the farmer's field and we had the buzzard down the buzzard was down this morning as well so potentially we could put a raised platform here and hopefully get some uh, some buzzard photography so that's that's what we're on with this afternoon we've got hide wise what i am going to do i'm going to make a platform before i commit to to actually put in a big wooden hide up, what I want to do is make sure that the you know the orientation is right. So I'm going to make a, a platform. I'm going to put me uh, me mornal hide on there. The uh, which one is it? Yeah, the mornal, the big one, the the two person hide. I'm going to put that in situ. We're going to set some perches up, and then we're going to see you know if it's the right place to put it. But in the meantime, what we did find. That the previous owner left so we've got all this timber up here and this is actually a wooden building what kind of wooden building i don't know but there's a lot of timber 
with all the roof struts there, well, roof timbers with the birds' mouths in and all this. So we've a raft of wood. But at the moment, it's been left out and I don't want it, I don't want it getting, uh, you know, going damp and rotten. So we're gonna, we're just gonna pile it up neatly now. We're just piling it up on these telegraph poles. I'm gonna put these slats down and then we've got some airflow and hopefully get it get it covered over with a bit of snow coming in tomorrow potentially so ideal time really we'll get it covered over get it protected but for now i'm having a well-earned brew and we'll crack on in a minute all right seriously good wood in here which is good news for the hide building now we've got all these which I think are I don't know 61 and there's a load of them so this is going to be for the flooring we've managed to find a load of this that's your weatherboarding that'll be for the sides I don't think there's enough to do all the sides but we're obviously not going to be able to create what was what this was originally, but there's a fantastic amount of timber here. done spin you around there we go so we had the big pile of timber here it was all getting wet and horrible oh well it was going to get ruined basically if I'd left it out there much longer it would not have ended well so we've got it all stacked up nicely there you can see through there we've got an airflow through everything I'm well chuffed with that. That is a good bit of work. That's a good few hours work done that. So I reckon I can easily, I can get two hides out of that. I might need to get some OSB for the roof and some felt. Well, I will, I will have to do that. But that is, that is fantastic. Wood is so expensive and that has saved me a fortune. So, back up the lane get the big rake and that area that I've just cleared well what we'll do grab the rake there we go I'll show you because I managed to get the buzzard down the other day I think it was it might have been the first day that we we came down I picked some some roadkill up so I had a pheasant just chucked it literally down here so we're there we go let's spin you around again so that's how close we are to the house, literally down here. And we have the buzzard down. Now, this area that I've just cleared, he came flying through the woods. So from the other side, he obviously spotted the spotted the the pheasant down there. So what I'm tempted to do is just take a couple more limbs off inside the wood there and make a bit of a tunnel almost. So it gives him a clear path to, to fly through. And this area that I've just cleared, what I'm going to do, I've got a really nice post down the back of the barn and I'm just going to 
I'm going to pop the post in, just put it down here, I think. Just dig that in so it'll sit about that tall. It's a nice, gnarly fence post, you know me and my post. So we'll bob that in and see if we can get him coming down. And you know, there's, there's loads of tawny owls around here. It's absolutely wicked with them. You know, about this time now, so what we're on, 10 past five, I reckon another 20 minutes and they'll start kicking off. I can hear them calling from one tree to another. Well, that'd be ace nice if we could get, a, you know, get the tawny owls coming down onto a post regularly. And I've, I've done it before, you know, I've just put a post in a field and it's surprising, you know, they'll come down and use it. So, and then let's have a, oh, the pheasant's kicking off. Quick tidy up now. Go and get some, get some teed out neck. Get in front of that big log fire and we'll see you in the morning. All right. Morning folks, it's a particularly skanky day out there, but we've got to get out there and crack on. So, first job, get the bird feeders filled, and then we're going to trim them bushes back. I don't know if I'm going to get the roots out today, to be honest, because I just, I don't know, I've other stuff to do that I can do inside. No point absolutely getting drenched, so we'll get with gear on, get outside and get cracking. Big coat on today. Well, he's a big hat. Come on. What a horrible day. <laughs> Let me get me stick. I'll go on my backside if I don't get a stick. Right. So, I have made an executive decision. And that is, I ain't digging any roots out today. Not for you lot. <laughs> so we're going to get the feeders. Uh, bloody hell, it's evil. Yeah, we're going to get the feeders, get them filled up. And then we're going to sack it off for another day. I'm going to go inside, the fire's on. Get in front of that and edit this video. I'll tell you what I might do. It doesn't require too much effort. I'm going to put that post in. In that clearing where I shifted all that wood. We'll bob that down there. We're just going to go up and get this feeder up here. There we go. So they've They've emptied that in the space of a day. I mean, look at all that that they've dropped there. That'll be the nuthatch. The nuthatch is a lunatic. It just comes in and it just literally empties the feeder. So we've got, we've got a nut feeder and we've got a mixed seed. So them two, and they're literally emptying them in 24 hours. Well, not a lot I can do about that really but once you've started feeding the birds you've got to keep on with it especially this time of year because they really do rely on it we'll get them fat balls stocked up as well because they love them high energy fat balls so you're dying for me to fall aren't you Way. Nail it. Very nearly. Right. Let's get down to the barn where it's dry.
time for a brew. <laughs> I'm saying time for a brew and it's not, we've got to put that post in. Right, bloody hell, this is horrible. It's starting to sleet now, so I think that cold weather, that, uh, that snowy, sleety weather that they threatened, it might just be coming in. But, jobs to do. Let's go and get that post dug in. Okay, so this is the post in question. How good it is. Hey, it's all right. It's all right to down. Look at that. So, full of moss. Look at the street this morning. Just lay that down. Spinning around. There's some water pumping down this morning. Look at that. Yeah, he's probably going for it. I'll put a picture on. I went up in the woods yesterday and just took a picture of him. There's a really nice little spot where he cascades down. And it just shows what a difference a dry day and a wet day makes. And say tomorrow if it's dry, this will just come right down. Well, there's so much, so much water running off the hill. Some of these rocks that I've just dug out. What the heck? Proper stony ground round here. Perfect for this though. And that is going nowhere. So we'll see what happens with that. Might just come and investigate it, you never know. Show me kingfishes. Anyone that's into photographing kingfishes, you put a new perch up, and nine times out of ten, they will come down and investigate it. So, yeah, we'll leave that as it is. We can fluff it up a bit and make it, but I like the look of that. Right, that is it for today. <laughs> that is it for this film. So, we're going to be banging a few films out like this and the little project films so you can see this one it's the start of this front garden like wildlife garden if you will i really want to put a hide up there i think it'd be superb it's great for for watching out the house i can see everything that's going on but it's an ideal place for a for a woodland hide for them small birds and as i said before all sorts coming in and they're really they're used to, used to people knocking about, which is brilliant. You get dead close to them, so that's not going to be an issue. Concealment isn't going to be an issue at all. But just to recap, I'm going to take all them four more bushes out. We're going to replant some nice wild trees. They'll take a bit of time to get established, but there's loads of cover for them anyway. And we're going to put that platform up. I'm going to put the mono hide. Just make sure everything's right. You know, the position's right, the backgrounds are right. That's a big big thing really and we're going to put some perches in maybe put some you know some tall long perches in you never know we might get a sparrow hawk coming in who knows but the buzzards are definitely knocking about so that again that's a potential <clears throat> we've also got the the field behind which which i really want to get the buzzards down in and maybe the kites but yeah small steps at first but there's a lot of work to do so this is film number one and Thanks for watching, I'm going in for a brew now, we'll see you on the next one, see you later.